Hello YouTube, my name is Eric Young and welcome to an exciting tutorial of how to make a 3D book inside of After Effects, a pop-up book. This will be using no plugins, but you can use plugins if you'd like, and let's get started. So here's one I made quickly just to show you what it's And it opens in full. So let's go ahead and make a new position. To book. And what you're going to need to do is get some vectors. So you can go to Google or Adobe's Creative Cloud and find these. So here's some cutouts of people you can take, some trees you can take, stuff like that, but I already have some. Another thing you're going to want to do is get a texture, a paper texture. Something like any of these will work, and then you're going to open it in Photoshop and split it in half. Have the left side and the right side. Go ahead and drop them in. A 3D layer. Select both of them and let's rotate. Now let's add a camera. Go for the 35 millimeter. Make a null and we'll call this camera dolly. Link the camera to the camera dolly. Turn the camera dolly null to 3D. Let's just move these closer to the camera. We can also scale it up. That looks good. So the anchor point's already set in the middle of these. Go down to rotation. We'll be looking at the Y rotation. See that makes the page turn. So set the first one to negative 90. Set a keyframe. The other one to positive 90. Set. For two seconds. Set them back to zero. Voila. Next thing we're going to do is make paper backings for these. So these are basically just duplicates that we're going to move down. So we'll start with the right side. I want to move it just below the right side. So that's 476. So we'll do. Add 5 to that value. Name it to right backing 1. Duplicate again. do values of 10. Now we have three paperback. Do the same for the left side. Call it left backing one. Position, we'll move it down 10. Alright, so now we have a book. 
next thing we're going to do is add in vectors. So I have some up here already pre-made. How you'll make these is you'll take your vector, set it in, and then do alpha mat tree. And that will put the texture over the tree. I have all of these ready to go. Go ahead and start with some trees. Get a 3D layer. I'm going to add in the light to see what I'm doing, so let's go to new light. Parallel light to see what we're doing. And you want to get them just on with the page. Like so. Add in another tree, set it. The important thing is when you're placing the vectors, make sure they're on the left or right side. Make sure they stay on each side, if that makes any sense. And another thing we're going to need to do is make sure these are facing upwards. So we're looking at the X rotation. Positive 20 is about right. Go with 15. There, and just add in a few more vectors. This is just a really rough example. You can spend as much time as you want making this look good. Okay, now what you're going to need to do is parent the vectors on the right side to the right side and the vectors on the left side to the left side. This is on the left side. on the right side. Now they all stay connected, but they're not going to fold. What we need to do is move the anchor points on all of these vectors. Go ahead and start with the couple, go to the anchor tool. want to get it right along where their feet match the paper.
Alright, so now that we've set the anchor points, we can now keyframe the rotation. So we'll go to all the vectors, hit R for rotation. We're going to keyframe the X rotation on all of them. And remember, that's the rotation that does Now look at that. Alright, so, now it's time to add light. So we're going to need to take all these vectors, and turn cast shadows on for all of them. Now you can see that they're casting shadow. Make sure whatever light you're using has cast shadows turned on. Gonna make a sun, sunny type theme now. And now we can move around the light. We'll start with something like that and an, add an ambient. Much better. Alright, so now we have the base animation. I like to add a little point. As you can see, that just adds a little bit of shine to certain areas. You can also tell it just to not cast shadows. There, now we got a little high. We're also going to want to add a back. Make it 3D and we'll tell it. To not accept light. Oh, turn accept shadows off. There we go. So you can use the camera dolly and the camera for per for so stay we'll start there now there's some movement to the camera all right so that's the basics of it. so we'll parent that point light to that And now the light stays with them. Another thing we can do the is hit Alt and click it. And that will give the camera just a little bit of wiggle, that wiggle expression 1, 5, 1. And you can mess with this value until you like how much it wiggles, but I'm just going to leave it at that for now. If we turn on the comp motion blur, see that it's blurry now as it renders. This is about all you can do without plugins and After Effects, but it's still pretty cool. Another thing you can do is add in particles with Particular. These are some really soft particles I have pre-made, so I'm just going to copy and paste them over to the other comp. You can always download Particular, it's an expensive plugin, but it's nice, it gives you these little uh, particles you can put almost anywhere and you can do all sorts of things with it. next thing we'll do is just add some color correction. Like Magic Bolt looks because it has tons of options. You can choose a preset if you'd like. They're really not that bad. Some of these are great presets. Like that one looks pretty good. Yeah, we'll just go with classic zombies. Add a little color abrasion. That looks 
looks pretty good. Alright, and that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, it's really simple. You just make a book, and it pops open. And another thing you can do, that I'm not going to show you how to do, is add your own text in. So, let's see here. Make like your text pop out of it. Well first I used Saber to burn the text into it, and then I made it pop out with it. Kind of just like making a text layer, making it 3D and pop out. Then it can come up. I'm also going to add this template in with the uh, tutorial so you can download it and use this exact template. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I'm going to render out uh, the YouTube book and uh, then I'll make this a tutorial. Thanks for watching.